What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. I'm back with a new Mac tip. I'm going to show you how to use hot corners on your Mac. Now you may be wondering to yourself, Jeff, why are hot corners even useful? Uh, why do you use them? Well, let me give you a quick example. And you're probably looking at my desktop and thinking, man, that is a messy desktop. Why do you work like that? Well, that's the way I kind of work. I work kind of scatterbrained and I just have a whole bunch of apps open at once and do a lot of multitasking. But it's actually really easy with my hot corners. I'm going to show you why. So I have Pixelmator up here and I'm going to want to add an image to this canvas here. But the image is actually on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hot corner in the bottom left hand corner to view the desktop quickly so that I can drag something from the desktop directly to this Pixelmator canvas really easily. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I'm just going to drag my cursor down to the bottom left hand corner. I'm doing it slowly so you can see it. And now I have access to my desktop here, but the other windows and everything are still open. Uh, they've just been kind of hidden for a second while I find the app or find the icon I need on my desktop or find the image that I need on my desktop and I use that. So I'm going to take this mission control image here, this JPEG, and I'm just going to drag it right back down to the bottom left hand corner like this and look, everything is displayed again and now I can simply drop that in there on that canvas. Now I did that really slow so I could show you guys how it works, but let me show you how it works in a real world scenario when I'm actually working. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to drag down, find the app I want, or find the uh, the image I want, drag back, and then just drop like that. Let me do it one more time for you. I'm going to do it really quickly because I already know exactly what I want. So I'm just going to drag down, drag down, release, just like that. So you can see why this is so handy, having uh, hot corners for show desktop. But that's not all that hot corners can do. I also have a hot corner configured to show my launch pad, which allows me to quickly access any apps that I have on my Mac. So I'm just going to put the cursor in the upper left hand corner. And that shows the Launchpad. Now, look, I have access to all my apps directly on Launchpad. And when I'm done, or if I don't want to launch anything, I just put my cursor back up to the upper left-hand corner, and that will take me back to the screen I was at. Um, or if I want to launch an app, just launch the app. Uh, so that is another one of the shortcuts I use. One more that I use, and this is really handy, is to uh, a show all the windows associated with a running app. So say I have Chrome here. I want to open up this window here. And uh, there's actually another window in Chrome open right now associated with, uh, obviously, this window here. So there's another Chrome window open, another Chrome tab open somewhere on this Mac. It may be buried beneath everything. It may be minimized. I don't know. I don't really care. What I can do is I can show all associated windows by using the hot corner that I configure in the upper right-hand corner like this. And now I see, well, there actually is another window right here. So there's two windows here, and I can quickly switch between them. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, well, what if one of those windows was minimized? I'm going to show you right now what that looks like. So I'm going to minimize this window here. And now I'm going to do the same command to show associated windows. All right. And now you see where the minimize window is down here at the bottom. This is just mission control. I mean, all I'm doing is assigning uh, shortcuts via the hot corners to mission control commands that you can normally access with keyboard shortcuts and, and the like. Uh, but this makes it so easy, so handy to quickly perform different actions on your Mac. Show desktop, show your uh, applications via Launchpad, show associated uh, windows uh, for a particular app, um, and more things you can do to configure. I also have a uh, sleep action assigned to the bottom right-hand corner. So whenever I'm done working on my Mac, I always put my Mac to sleep by just dragging in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, not left-hand corner. If I said left-hand corner, I meant right-hand corner. Um, dragging down there in the bottom right-hand corner, that'll put my Mac to sleep. Now, it'll actually sleep the display. It won't actually put the Mac to sleep. Uh, I'm not going to do that, obviously, because I'm <laughs> showing you guys how to do this, but I will show you where you can go to configure hot corners. So all you do is you open up System Preferences, and then you go to Mission Control. This is a subset of Mission Control. And way down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see Hot Corners. Just click that, and here are all your active screen corners. So as you saw, in the bottom left hand corner right here, I have desktop. So that's show desktop like that. In the bottom or in the upper left hand corner, I have launch pad. So upper left hand corner, launch pad. In the upper right hand corner, application window. So all windows associated with the open or the current display application like that. It's only one uh, preferences uh, window right now. 
And uh, in the bottom right hand corner, I have put display to sleep. I'm not going to show you that because that will put the display to sleep. Uh, but you can see you have quite a few things to choose from here. You have just standard mission control. You have the application windows, which I already use. You have desktop, dashboard, notification center. If you want to assign that to notification center, uh, you can. I don't think that's as useful because you can access notification center simply by clicking the notification center button in the upper right hand corner. You also have start screensaver and disable screensaver. I think I'm using the most, in my opinion, the most optimized version of the hot corners uh, with mission control having launchpad desktop put display to sleep in application windows I think that is the most refined and I've been using this for years but I think this is the most refined version of using hot corners they, this setup here I really like this setup and if for instance you don't want a particular uh, hot corner to be enabled you can just use this little minus sign here um, and that will eliminate that hot corner and make it deactive or inactive and uh, you won't it won't, nothing will happen basically when you drag your mouse to that corner. Uh, but I do like put display to sleep there, so I'm going to keep that active. And one last little tidbit, one last little tip. You can actually combine these commands with the keyboard uh, commands as well. So you see desktop here. If I hold either the option, control, shift, or command keys on my keyboard, I can actually assign those with those commands. So for instance, if I do that, then the desktop won't actually show when I put my mouse in the bottom left hand corner unless I'm holding the command button like this and then it will show. So that's just something to keep in mind if you want to do that. I don't particularly like that. I like the fact that these uh, these commands are so quick to access just with the flick of the wrist. But I can see why someone would like that if you are always inadvertently triggering some of these screen corners there. So just something to keep in mind. So that is how I use hot corners, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I find it so useful. It makes my workflow so much simpler and I cannot recommend it enough. I really would have a hard time using OS 10 without these hot corners. It is part of my daily usage and I highly recommend you check it out. So folks, hopefully, hope you learned something in this video. If you didn't, well, Hopefully you can uh, contribute something. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you use Hot Corners if you have any additional suggestions. If you like this video, please like it. Um, and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.